It's dawn at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, the site of the playoff game between the Green Bay Packers and the Baltimore Colts for the Western Conference Championship of the National Football League. Some eight hours before kickoff, the ground crews removed the protective layer of hay which has served its purpose. How well, you'll see momentarily. This is what the Colts and Packers might have had to contain with if the ground crew in Green Bay had not done such a magnificent job. There is ice on top of the tarp, but the field itself will turn out to be in excellent condition. Despite the near freezing temperatures, the field will not be a factor. Some 50,000 strong are here today to lend vocal support to the local heroes. The Baltimore Colts will be playing today without the services of their brilliant all-pro quarterback, John Unitas. Unitas sustained a knee injury which has rendered him inactive for the rest of the year. Coach Don Shula received another jolt when Gary Quazzo, his number two quarterback, was also sidelined with an injury, and today the Colts go with Tom Matty as the signal caller. Matty, a collegiate quarterback at Ohio State, has played the halfback position since coming to Baltimore five years ago. Bart Starr will be the quarterback for the Packers, who are seeking their first Western Conference crown since 1962. Kicking specialist Don Chandler is the Green Bay's leading scorer. The Packers with a home field advantage are the favorites and kickoff time is just moments away in this battle to decide the Western Conference Championship. Lou Michaels will kick off for the Baltimore Colts. Waiting deep in the Green Bay end zone is Tommy Moore and he's going to bring it back over the five to the ten and at about the 15 yard line he is knocked down and so the Packers will start in the first offensive series of the ball game from deep in their own backyard first and ten at the Green Bay 15. Star fakes to Taylor rolls back to throw and hits big number 88 Anderson who is jolted by the tackle of Lenny Lyles and the football is loose. It's recovered by Baltimore's linebacker Don Shinnick. He gets fine blocking down the near sideline and the Baltimore Colts have stunned the Green Bay Packers in the first minute of play with a touchdown. Don Shinnick recovers the fumble and races it in for Baltimore and the Colts take a surprising seven to nothing lead and we'll show you the play once more. The fake to Taylor the pass by Starr the catch by Anderson the tackle by Leonard Lyles the fumble recovery by Don Shinnick and watch number 46 Jimmy Welsh this block on star put him out of the game for the rest of the afternoon all star could do for Green Bay was to come in and hold the ball on points after and placement efforts Baltimore takes a surprising seven to nothing lead and the injured Bart star is helped to the sidelines. The next time the Packers handle the football, Zeke Bratkowski is at quarterback. And the give is to Horning, who pile drives straight ahead and grinds out a seven yard gain. After picking up a first down at their own 30, Zeke Bratkowski rolls back to throw and a quick popper over the middle. He hits the big tight end, Anderson, for a gain of eight yards. Here's a second down and two for the Packers now. Ratkowski hands to number five Horning. He finds a gaping hole in the Colt line and romps through for a big gain of seven. After an exchange in the pigskin, the Packers are in action. First and ten at the 50. The gift to Horning on the Packer power sweep. Horning coming wide to the right. 
is finally rolled over by Baltimore's Bobby Boyd. On a third and three at the 43, the give this time to Jim Taylor as he slants off the right side. He is knocked down shy of first down yardage. So the Packers will come up fourth down and one at the Baltimore 41. And Don Chandler will attempt a field goal from 47 yards away, and this is the way it looked. Off to one side. And the Colts hold on to their 7 to nothing advantage as the first quarter ends. Second period action right now with a third down and two at the 34, Green Bay 34. Ratkowski going all the way for the injured star. Hands off to Jim Taylor. Horning with a beautiful block on linebacker Shinnick. Opens a hole for Jim Taylor, who romps through for a gain of seven yards. First and ten now at the Green Bay 41. The pitch out to Jim Taylor. And watch Leonard Lyles fighting off the blocks. Forces the play. Gets help from Jimmy Welsh of Baltimore. And the result is a five-yard loss. It is second down and 15 at the 36 for Green Bay as Bratkowski rolls back to throw rolling to his right under Baltimore pressure has the time and here's a deep pass intended for Paul Horning who is all alone. He's got it taking it deeper into Baltimore territory as Jimmy Welsh rolls him out of bounds and the Packers have covered a lot of ground only to have it nullified by an ineligible receiver downfield. So it is second down and 30 for the Packers as Bratkowski once more is back to throw. He gets fine protection on this play. And here's his pass intended for the big man, number 86, Boyd Dowler. He connects, and it's a gain of 12 yards before Dowler is knocked over by Baltimore's Jimmy Welch. Third and 18 at the 33. And Bratkowski still firing that football. Under a good rush from Baltimore, he's firing deep and tending for long. A beautiful effort turned in by the Packer receiver. Couldn't quite hang on to it. An incomplete forward pass. Which brings on a fourth and 18 for Green Bay at the 33. Don Chandler in to boot for the Packers. And here's his kick coming upfield. Waiting for it is Baltimore's Alvin Heyman. At the Baltimore 24 and then to the 25 he is really snowed under and Fuzzy Thurston of the Packers finally knocks him down at the 25. So the Colts quarterback by Tom Matty go to work again. Here is Matty rolling out to his left behind number 45 Jerry Hill. He moves forward for a gain of four yards but number 87 Willie Davis of the Green Bay Packers will draw a penalty flag on this play. And the foul will be a personal foul against the Green Bay Packers, costing them 15. Cold action again with a third and six. Here is Matty dropping back on the pocket to pass under great pressure from Willie Davis. Look at the basketball shovel pass to Lenny Moore. A block from Baltimore's Bob Vogel. And Moore is down the sideline for a gain of nine and a Colt first down. With a first and ten at the 39. The give to number 45, Baltimore's fullback, Jerry Hill, and a rugged running hill romps to a 10-yard pickup and another Colt first down. First and 10 at the 29. Here is Matty rolling off to the right side this time, and he manages to move forward for about five yards. With a second and five at the 24, and Baltimore's offense moving along and controlling that football, the pitch out goes to Jerry Hill, and Hill comes around the right side for four yards. With a third and one at the 20, this is the way the Packers look at the Colt play. The gift to 24 more, a quick opener, and Moore dances through that opening beautifully and drives straight ahead for five yards and a Baltimore first down. Baltimore leading by a score of 7 0, and Tom Maddy is moving that Colt offensive unit. The give to Jerry Hill. Straight ahead he goes before Jordan of the Packers pulls him down after another gain of five. But that Packer defensive unit really stiffens now, and they force the Colts to try a field goal. From 15 yards out, Lou Michaels swings that left leg, and the Colts increase their lead over Green Bay now by a score of 10 to nothing. Green Bay in action with a first and 10 at their own 21. Zeke Bratkowski back to pass. 
He's looking for Carol Dale, and number 84 is there with a beautiful grab and goes out of bounds after a gain of 12 and a Packer first down. Second down and seven as we watch Bratkowski again, rolling back to throw. He really filled the air with footballs this afternoon. Over the middle it goes, and a fine catch is made by Green Bay's Paul Horning for eight yards and another Packer first down. First and ten at the 44. Bratkowski is going to go for broke on this one. He is going to let go with a bomb, intending for Long. Jerry Logan, the Baltimore defender, can't catch up to Long. And on this play, the flag goes down. It is pass interference against Logan of Baltimore, which will set up a first and goal to go for Green Bay at the Baltimore Colt 9. Bratkowski is going to throw from the nine-yard line. Being pressed a little bit, he finally gets it away and on target to Big Bill Anderson, who goes out of bounds at about the one. And the Packers are really, as they'd always say, hammering on that touchdown door. Baltimore Colts 10, the Green Bay Packers nothing. The give to Taylor, and Taylor hits the middle of the Colt defensive line, and it will not give an inch. They stop him cold. Third down coming up for Green Bay, trailing by a score of 10 to nothing. They're down at the Baltimore Colt, well, actually inside the Colt one-yard line. That's exactly how much ground the Packers need for a touchdown. And you're looking at some of the greatest defensive football played this year in the NFL. The give to Horning. Horning tries it, and the Colts won't give it to him. They stack him up. He does not get in. And it comes up to a fourth down and still about a short yard for the Green Bay Packers inside the Baltimore Colt one. Ratkowski hands to Taylor. Taylor comes ahead and Michaels hits him first and then Dennis Galbats and the Packers do not make it. They are stopped with three efforts inside the Colt one yard line. The Green Bay Packers cannot make it. And the Baltimore Colts take a 10 to nothing lead into the clubhouse at halftime. Halfway through at Green Bay, Wisconsin, the Baltimore Colts in their third meeting of the year with the Green Bay Packers have a surprising 10-0 lead. An early break for the Green Bay Packers in the top of the third quarter. This high pass from center to putter Tom Gilberg. He tries to run it out of there and can't make it, and the Green Bay Packers have an, a, an opportunity at the Baltimore Colt 35. This at the very top of the third quarter, and Green Bay fans go wild. With a second down and nine at the 34, Ratkowski filling in for the injured star is back to throw. He fires on target to the diving Carol Dale at the one yard line and the penalty flag goes down along with Carol Dale. It will bring up another pass interference penalty against Baltimore and give the Green Bay Packers a first and goal to go at the Baltimore Colt one. Here is the play repeated for you as Bratkowski throws watch the great catch by Carol Dale. The interference call goes against Baltimore to set up a first and goal for the Packers at the Colt one yard line and this time the Packers will not be denied the gift to Horning straight ahead he goes and he's into the end zone with the first Packer touchdown of the day and the conversion makes the score the Baltimore Colts 10 the Green Bay Packers 7 and the happy Horning comes to the sideline. After forcing the Baltimore Colts to punt, the Packers launch another drive. Bratkowski is back to throw, looking for and finding number five, Paul Horning. Leonard Lyles cannot bring Horning down, and he moves deeper up the field for a considerable gain of 19 yards and a Green Bay first down. With a first and 10 now at their own 36, the give is to Taylor. Through the middle goes the hard-running Jim Taylor for a pickup of seven. With a third and two at the 44, Ratkowski back to throw the quick popper again and again to the big tight end Anderson who makes a fine catch in heavy traffic for a gain of seven yards and another Packer first down. The Packers are really rolling now with a first and 15 at their own 46. Bratkowski rolling back to throw once more. Scrambling around, he lets it go deep. But on the receiving end of this one is Baltimore's Bobby Boyd. He intercepts his 10th interception of the year and the Colt defense has stopped the Packers once again. Bratkowski goes to the sideline and will talk with coach Vince Lombardi. 
And Baltimore takes a 10 to 7 lead into the fourth quarter in this playoff for Western Conference honors. The Packers in action in the fourth period with a second and 10 at the 50. Here is Bratkowski throwing to Boyd Dowler, and Dowler makes a fine catch in a gain of seven. On this third down and three at the Baltimore 43, Bratkowski rolling back to throw once more under a heavy Baltimore rush. He got it away to Paul Horning. Horning makes the grab, and Baltimore's linebacker Don Shinnick makes the tackle after a pickup of 10 and another Packer first. First and 10 at the 33. With 13 and a half minutes remaining, here is Horning sweeping around, cutting back, finds a big hole, and races to an eight-yard gain. And the Packers have got it going once more. It'll be second down and ten for the Green Bay Packers. Bratkowski is back to throw, looking to find a receiver. He lets it go. It's partially deflected by Lou Michaels of Baltimore and picked off by Baltimore's Jerry Logan. And Logan returns for 12 yards, and once more, the alert Baltimore defensive unit has stopped the Packer offense. And on the sideline, head coach Shula and quarterback Matty talk things over. But the Packer defense was brilliant, too. Third down and nine at the 21. Tom Matty rolling to his right, throwing one of his infrequent forward passes. He hits the tight end for Baltimore, John Mackey, for a gain of 16 and a first down. But as we mentioned, that brilliant Packer defense has forced Baltimore to punt once more. And here is Tom Gilberg booting it out of there for Baltimore. Waiting downfield will be Green Bay's Elijah Pitts. On the 18, he gets a little bit of blocking help before Neil Petties is able to pull him down after a return of 10 yards. Second down and 10 for Green Bay at the 28. Bratkowski rolling back to throw, looks for and finds the big boy Dowler who makes a fine catch in a gain of 11 and a Green Bay first. Second down and six for the Packers. And again, here is Bratkowski still firing that football. This one goes to number five, Paul Horning, but he is shy of that first down yardage. He didn't get the first down. After the Packers had picked up the first down on this particular play, Horning had been shaken up and will leave the ball game. The Packers have picked up a first down, and now here is a Zeke Bratkowski rolling back to throw, and Baltimore puts on a tremendous rush. Watch 74, Billy Ray Smith, right there. He hit the quarterback on the head. The penalty marker is dropped. And the official has ruled against Baltimore, face mask penalty. And Baltimore's defensive unit is really fired up. Billy Ray Smith, number 74, is the offender in the opinion of the official. On the sideline, the number three quarterback of the Packers, Dennis Claridge, warms up. He may have to come in as Bratkowski was shaken on the play. However, Bratkowski is able to stay in there. And he moves the Packer club with a second and nine at the 42, again hitting the big tight end Anderson for a gain of six yards. What a great ball game this fella put on for the Green Bay Packers. Third and three at the 36. Baltimore leading the Packers 10 to seven late in the fourth quarter. The give to Taylor. Taylor dancing to the right, slashes out for four yards, and Green Bay has a first down. Four minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter with Baltimore leading 10 to seven and the Packers driving. With a second down and 10 at the 32. Bratkowski rolls back to throw. He's got the protection. The pass is on target to the big tight end Anderson once more. This time the game is for 12. A Packer first down. And with that clock rolling along, the Packers are now within field goal range. And Don Chandler is on to try a field goal that could tie the game and force it into overtime. And he's kicked it. And the Green Bay Packers and the Baltimore Colts are now tied in the fourth quarter. And Packer land is going crazy. A minute and 58 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. And the game is deadlocked. Green Bay 10, Baltimore 10. This one for the championship of the Western Conference. And the right to meet the Cleveland Browns for the world's championship. With a second down and 14. Time running out on the end of the fourth quarter. The club's tied. Here is Bratkowski swinging it out to Jim Taylor. Taylor booming his way upfield. Is over the 40, to the 45, out to the 50, into Baltimore territory. 
And a mad scramble for the football. The Colts try to call for time, figuring they've recovered. But the officials on the spot rule Green Bay has recovered. And now we've got a great big rhubarb going. With so much noise in Lambeau Field, the gun indicating the end of the ball game was not heard. And the referee, Norman Schachter, is explaining to Vince Lombardi exactly what took place. What had happened, time has run out. And Baltimore and Green Bay will go to the second sudden death period in the history of the National Football League. The first one involved the Baltimore Colts and the New York Giants in a World Championship game in 1958. This one between the Packers and the Baltimore Colts for the title in the Western Conference. In a sudden death period, the team that scores first will win. The Packers won the toss. They elected to receive, and Michaels kicks off to Tom Moore at the Packer two. He comes straight ahead and watch the hit by kicker Lou Michaels out of the 22 yard line. So Green Bay has the first chance to score in the sudden death period and Bratkowski is going to the air again under a Baltimore blitz. He fires upfield intending for Carol Dale an incomplete forward pass. And so the Colt defense forces the Packers to give them the football in this sudden death overtime. And Chandler booms a putt out of there. Waiting downfield is Baltimore's Alvin Heyman. Straight over the 35 up to the 40, and he is racked as he hits the 41. Baltimore, however, is unable to move the ball momentarily. And the next time they get their hands on the football, Tom Matty romps through on a quarterback draw to pick up about nine yards. And again on the quarterback draw, Matty goes straight ahead, and this time gains eight yards as Baltimore and Green Bay are tied. 10-10 in this sudden death over overtime. They have used up six minutes, and from 47 yards out, Lou Michaels of Baltimore will try to win it all with a 47-yard field goal effort that is off to one side and not good. So now the Packers will take over. And the Packer fans come to their feet. It's second down and six of the 24. Bradkowski again going to throw. And who do you think you'll be looking for? You're right. Big number 88, Bill Anderson. And he makes the catch and a gain of 18 yards and a Green Bay first. With well, a first and 10 at the 48. The give to number 22, Elijah Pitts, who's replacing the injured Paul Horning. And he slashes for six yards. Second down and four at the 48. Taylor whacks off the right side. And picks up five yards at a Green Bay first down. The Packers are driving for a Western Conference title. And Bradkowski rolling back to throw on a second and seven. Fires up field. Carol Dale, number 84, is there and takes it out of bounds after a gain of 18 and a first down. Second down and 10 is a give to number 22, Pitts, who hammers off the left side and grinds out a tough four yards. Eleven and a half minutes have gone by in this overtime period and Vince Lombardi looks happy about the prospects and why not the Packers have a fourth and two at the 18 and Don Chandler will attempt a field goal from 25 yards out that could mean the Western Conference title to the Packers the kick is in the air it is right down the middle and the Green Bay Packers are the champions of the Western Conference they have defeated the Baltimore Colts by a score of 13 to 10. Baltimore playing without its two quarterbacks, Unitas and Quazzo, with a Cinderella team of the Western Conference for a long time, and it took an outstanding Packer football team, almost five full periods of football, to beat them for their championship. The Packers played a wonderful game of football and are the champions of the Western Conference and will meet the Cleveland Browns for the World's Championship on January the 2nd. The Packers heading to the clubhouse with every reason in the world to be happy. And there's the man of the hour, the kicker, Don Chandler, who kicked the field goal that got the Packers their 13 to 10 victory over the Baltimore Colts. This is offensive center Bowman, who is mighty, mighty happy. That's the victor's smile. And that final score, once again, the Green Bay Packers 13, the Baltimore Colts 10. <laughs>